Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Caroline Soros and thank you for clicking on my video. So, I know it has been a long time since I posted. I am sorry, but I'm back with a live update and all my essentials for natural hair. So yeah, let's get started. So, um, I'm gonna be explaining why I have been gone. So firstly, I created my YouTube channel last year. So honestly, I I can say that I was not, I did not plan out what I was gonna do with my YouTube channel. I just um, jumped into it because I knew that if I didn't create it, I was gonna postpone and postpone. So I was like, wait again, let me just create my YouTube channel and I did. But what I didn't realize was that I had to put in a lot of work. I did not have the equipment, but um, we are getting there. We are getting there. I have um, a much better camera, so I think things are gonna be better from now. I'm gonna be trying to post the videos. And another thing is, I moved from one province to another. I used to live in Gauteng, but I moved to Northwest for school. Um, if none of y'all know this, I am a student at Northwest Mafiking. Um, um, university so I moved there this year for my first year so it was a little bit hectic because I was really busy I was still getting used to the province but right now I can easily say that I'm gonna try to manage my time between school and natural hair and another thing is I I had braids in since the beginning of the year so like this this is like the first time in this year that I can actually play with my hair as you can see I have had growth I'm coming up with more videos on how I grew my hair throughout this month so yeah that's about it I'm gonna be trying to upload more give you more content please communicate with me if you you have a video that you want me to record I will comment down below like share and subscribe follow me on Instagram Caroline Torres and yeah let's build this channel together so right now as you can tell by the title i am gonna be um sharing with you guys my natural hair essentials like all the things that are important to me for my natural hair so yeah like let me get so i am gonna be listing them out because like i have had a lot of people asking me what do you use on your hair what do you like all the things that are important to my hair so i think this is gonna be enough for people to to know what i use for my hair so the first thing i i use is shampoo um shampoo we all know what shampoo does. Shampoo is to clean your hair, is to wash your hair. Shampoo is not that important because for for me personally, my hair is not really dirty. I do not have dandruff and I use like um, not a lot of products on my hair. So I do not use car shampoo that much. I also got this other shampoo at Clicks. All the things that I used here, most of them are from Clicks. So I'm going to be telling you where, where I got them. So this one was from Clicks, and I bought it also with the conditioner. I think you all know this. I bought them for like 90 Rand, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm taking them because they were really cheap. But if you look closely, they're not for natural hair, but they do the job. So this is the shampoo that I also use. But I also use this Unjacket shampoo, which is really good on my hair. I used it l last night, and my hair felt really soft so it doesn't matter which shampoo or which brand you use for me because i'm still in the early ages of learning my hair so i try to experiment with more shampoos and then another thing is the next thing is the conditioner so this is really important if you can even like shake it it's almost empty because i use it a lot this is a conditioner a uh, conditioner is important because you it softens your hair it makes your hair easy to deal with so you cannot wash your hair without conditioning it i used to do that when i had relaxed hair because i did not know what a conditioner was used for but I'd rather you buy a conditioner and not a shampoo because um it's really important like it helps your hair a lot you deep condition if you deep condition every week your hair grows so um, also with the shampoo with the conditioner you do not have to get okay the conditioner you have to be picky because this one I, I don't think it does the trick on my um, natural hair because it's for like um, straight silky hair 
so you have to buy like the right conditioner for your hair because it helps your hair a lot it makes it more manageable and another thing is um, a cream so I am gonna be making a video on the L LOC method I like LCO method I use the LCO method so it's liquid cream and oil so you always have to use a cream on your hair my hair because um, a cream um, moisturizes your hair in a good way so I love this cream because it works for my hair like really well so uh, you can also change between creams because I also used this one um, it's it's almost empty so I also use this one but you always have to moisturize your hair with a cream because it helps you, your hair with moisture then another thing is an oil so this is also important for your natural hair because I use this one because it has black castor oil oil. So, so far it has worked for my hair really well. I always oil my hair even when I have braids and I always make sure that I oil my hair because that's essential for your hair. It's really important for your hair, especially for the scalp. You have to oil up your scalp so that your hair grows. So it doesn't matter which oil you use. You can either use olive oil, castor oil, um, coconut oil just find which one works for your hair best so so far i have been using this mpl oil from pep i think it's like it's not even 30 rands it's less than 30 rands so you can get it at pep or flakes or this can another thing is um this one is also so important is a spray bottle you use a lot of water when you have natural hair so it's easier to get like a spray bottle and fill it in with water i didn't even buy this bottle, spray bottle i took um an old air freshener from um, in the house and i just removed the label i washed it and i used this i know it looks like i even bought it but i didn't you can use this or if you do not have air freshers like this you can use like an old um braid spray like if it's like it's finished it's empty you can um wash it inside and fill it in with water and use it this way another thing is this one is not that important but i bought it because it was really cheap um it's um the instant detangler therapy so if you do not wa want to deal with your hair that much if you just want to like comb it out and just style it you don't want to wash it and condition it this you can use it it's just like a moisturizer it's easy to detangle with your hair you just comb it out and you style as as you want but it's not that important you just use it if you can buy it so i just bought this one at clicks it was very cheap and again i was like what's again i have to buy it then i think that's about the products that i used the essential for your natural hair you have to buy shampoo because you have to wash your hair you have to buy a conditioner because it helps with strengthening your hair and making it soft so a conditioner is really 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 important and also masks and deep conditioners i do not have a deep conditioner here i used it yesterday and i threw out the plastic i'm sorry but you have to get a conditioner a deep conditioner and mask that is really important for your hair because it really helps with um repairing your curls strengthening your curls and making it them um making them so nice. up next i am gonna be showing y'all um the combs and all the tools that i use for my natural hair so the first thing that i use and love is this big comb it is great with detangling my hair because as you can see the um, the teeth are not that that thin so it detangles your hair without ripping it out so if you don't have this comb you have to get it or you have to get a big comb that it doesn't have like um this small teeth so i used this comb um or i used this um detangler brush i do not know where i bought this i think i got it from my grandmother's house um, and it has been in the family for so long luckily i went natural so i use it now it is really good for my hair because it detangles my hair really well and it defines my curls so you also need something like this also then you need an afro pick i do not use this really well um because i use this most of the time but you also need an afro pick to pick out your afro 
and also with this comb i forgot to explain why i use it but you have to i use this to 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 take out lines and just define anything i also use this one another thing is you have to get like pins for to divide your natural hair so be so when you are doing your wash day or when you are braiding your hair we have a lot of hair so you have to divide your hair in some ways you have to divide like the first piece from the second piece and deal with another piece so you have to get like these pins i do not remember where i got these things they were just in the house and now that i am natural i can finally use them so you can use this but i think um in the where they sell hair pieces or all the important things for hair you can get them even the comb so i think if you ask around you can find them but i'll use, also use this one or if you do not have those pins you can easily use like um this uh a scrunchie you can use a scrunchie to to divide your hair i have like five so you can use this if you do not have and yeah that's about it i think i have shown you guys all the important things that i use for my natural hair not only the things because i use a lot more but these are only the important things that i cannot go without during my wash days or when i have to style my hair so they are very important thank you for clicking on my video please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment down below let's communicate please follow me on caroline torres and until we meet again thank you guys bye